forget what the f you did. You made blacks come out. I don't see no white militia. So to the boogie boys, the three percenters, and all the rest of you scared ass rednecks. We here. Where the f you at? We in your house. Let's go. NFAC, motherfucker. Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our honor, our praises, our glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Sai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, who the Word only calls God. Yahweh Sai, the only begotten Son, who the Word only calls Jesus Christ. All right, and as you've seen, I had that video on the screen. All right, you know, the hot topic of the start of the week so far, you got the uh, NFAC, <laughs> all right, going around marching with the uh, automatic rifles uh, in Stone Mountain. Okay, um, so that's a group of Jakes, all right? Hey, they, and they know they Israelites, I guess the leader or whatever, okay? Uh, Grandmaster uh, uh, Jay or whatever, he knows he's an Israelite, okay? He uses uh, the Israelite term, all right? Might say 12 tribes or something like that, all right? Brothers believe he's an a agent provocateur, all right? <clears throat> Leading the sheep to the slaughter, all right? About to have you other uh, so-called Negroes. All right, because I didn't see uh, no damn, uh, no so-called Hispanics with them. All right, that's how you know they going off. All right, uh, leading you Negroes into the slaughter, man. Okay, uh, marching in Stone Mountain with a KKK at, all right, uh, with their automatic weapons. Hey, talking shit to the KKK. You know, in the flesh, you know, it's funny. It's, uh, uh, you know, not funny. Uh, you know, you, could, you know why Jake doing it. Jake is fed up, want to fight back. All right, tired of getting their ass handed to him by Esau. All right, but, you know, through the spirit, you can see that uh, it's carnal. Okay, it's um, a setup, man, because you can't fight Esau with his blessing that the Messiah gave, uh, Salaki, that Yahweh gave him, man. All right, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai gave Esau Edom the sword as his blessing. All right, and you can't fight Esau with the blessing that the Lord gave him, man. They got something called the military, man. Okay. So I, I, people are destroyed for uh, lack of knowledge, man. Jake's out there marching with that. That's not the route to go. The route to go, all right, to take down Esau Edom is uh, preach the word, man, okay? And let these prophecies come to pass because it's prophesied that Yahweh Shai will have all the crowns on his head, man. We got to wait on Yahweh Shai and the angels to pull up. That's the army, okay? And brothers been going into that, okay? So uh, <clears throat> just want to grab a few scriptures and close it out because, you know, brothers been harping on this all weekend, all day. So this is Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I also will reject thee. And you see how people destroy it, man. Out there marching with their automatic weapons, man. And they're going to be destroyed for their lack of knowledge. All right? Esau, Edom, going to mow uh, Jake now. All right, Jake going to get on Esau ass too. Now, don't get it twisted. You know, because Jake is uh, smarter, faster. All right? Stronger, wiser. More skillful than Esau Edom, but this is their blessing. They have fully tapped into the sword, okay? That's what the Lord gave them to be good at. Who's good at killing? All right, Esau Edom, man. You, Jake's ain't good, man. You just had uh, hella innocent uh, kids die over the past weekend because you Jake's can't shoot, man. All right? And you Jake's are reckless. But nonetheless, it says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So you don't have the knowledge... Um, wisdom and understanding of Yahweh by Shem outside to know that we have to wait on the Lord to get revenge, man. All right. Uh, it says, I will also reject thee that thou should be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. Yeah, and Grandmaster J or whatever his damn name is, ain't no damn priest, man. Okay. And he's leading our people to get destroyed. All right. Uh, let's get into that blessing that proving that uh, the sword is Esau Edom's blessing. Genesis 27 and 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me 
even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. All right. And if you know this story, okay, which you can go back a few verses and read. Okay. But brothers uh, and sisters already know. This is when uh, Jacob finessed Esau out of the birthright. All right. Esau sold his birthright for some raw pottage. Okay. And now he's crying, asking his father Isaac, which is our forefather. All right. For a blessing. And let's see what Isaac, uh, the blessing that Isaac gave him. Uh, verse 39 And Isaac his father answered and said unto him Behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth And of the dew of heaven from above That's why Esau Edom uh, rules the earth right now man it's, This is his rulership This is Esau Edom kingdom Alright who would make the laws in this uh, in this uh, this world today man Esau Edom Okay They're at the top of the totem pole Because this is uh, They have the fatness of the earth but they're going down because Yahweh by Shemi Ashai, okay, is about to uh, rain. Verse 40, and by thy sword shalt thy, thou live. All right. So that's why Esau Edom is so good with the sword. Are right, you Jake's marching? You, you 50 Jake's marching with your 50 uh, automatics ain't enough, man. All right. This is uh, Esau Edom's sword. I mean, blessing the sword. All right. Verse 40, and by the sword shalt thou live. That's how uh, Esau Edom got the lands that they have by the sword. All right, look at the uh, Roman army, okay? The Greek army, okay? Those was powerful, uh, really the Roman, those was powerful uh, armies. Why? Because the Lord uh, uh, gave them that blessing to live by the sword, all right? And conquer with the sword. It says, and by the, thy sword shalt thou live and shalt serve thy brother and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck all right so what jake is breaking that yoke up off that neck man waking up to the truth all right waking up to that esau edom is a uh, rapist robber and a murderer all the tribes waking up to that but nonetheless esau edom blessing is the war you can't beat him with his blessing we have to be Esau eating with our blessing. And what's our blessing? The knowledge, having the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of your how about Shimei outside, knowing how to move. Okay? Because, hey, this ain't our kingdom. This is not the time to fight right now. All right? We're going to fight uh, when your how about return, man. All right? That's when we're going to be piped up. And even before that, when the Lord bestowed spiritual uh, powers on, on Akiyam. Okay? But just right now is the time to lay low and preach the word, man. All right, feed the sheep. John 18, 36. Yahweh shall answer, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. All right, so Yahweh shall kingdom is not of this world, man. Or then would his servants fight. So now is not the time to fight. Now is the time to be spiritual and be Esau ass with these scriptures, man. <laughs> All right. It says that I should not be delivered to the Jews, but now is my kingdom not from hence. Yeah, so this is not the time to gather up arms and fight Esau Edom. Now is the time to get spiritually uh, prepared, man. Pray for grace and mercy from Yahweh by Shem Yahshai and these upcoming calamities uh, and during this up to upcoming time, which is called Jacob's Trouble, you know? So I just wanted to uh, grab that real quick. It was on my spirit to do a little something about that. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahshai. Shalom.